The Work of Mourning is an exhibition that kind of highlights my interest in process, ritual, and repetition through looking at acts and rituals of mourning. For years, I've been inspired by the writing uh, by Jack Derrida. In particular, I've been really inspired by his text, The Work of Mourning. I'm interested in absence, loss, and the inevitability of death. He highlights for me how we speak of death, how to speak to death, and how we speak with and of the dead. In lieu of are cutouts of the obituary section from the Toronto Star newspaper from a work that I did in 2007 called Death Memorials and Births. I had kept these cutouts after reading each and every entry. They were kept in a little black box that I had in my studio. Seven years later, I decided to use beeswax because of its connection with Greek and Egyptian mythology and how bees bridge our world and the underworld. Wax for me was a way also to increase the preservation of these very delicate newspaper strips. So buried in it that we only see them when pulled out in abstractions began a few years ago when I saw in a newspaper the image of a young person who had been killed in an act of violence in Danzig in Scarborough. After seeing this image, I became curious about the other images of crime scene photos of bodies under blankets. I started to embroider these images as closely to the original image as possible, but ensuring that the body was covered. It was a process of meditation, a process for me to think about the person underneath the blanket and those who are left to mourn them. The image that inspired this work was seen when I was taking the TTC and it was in one of those free newspapers and what caught my eye about this image was how there was a shoe sticking out from underneath the blanket. A visual vocabulary for hands in mourning stemmed from an interest in body language and gesture with public mourning. When the North Korean leader Kim Jong-il passed away, I was really inspired by the images that I saw of people mourning his death. I started to collect images that I found online or in newspapers of people mourning and started to then reenact their hands as a way of highlighting how one's body reacts to grief or through grief. The 64 images on display are from 64 different individual acts of mourning. And every tear is from the other, is more of a personal act of grieving. Each individual Kleenex is my response to maybe some of the work that I've created or personal moments of sadness. As I cried, I kept the Kleenex and embroidered with white thread around a single teardrop 